2020 Honda Accord. So I was just asked by a subscriber, uh, do I always use virgin refrigerant or do I use recovery tanks from my uh, recycling tanks to fill up vehicles with a recycling tank? Uh, yes, I do use recovery tanks, but I do not use the recycling tank that was, re was used for recycling because they are contaminated and they're dirty. So this is a recovery recycling tank right here, but this is a brand new one. And as you can see, I painted it white. I don't have my red stripe on it yet. You, you'd mistake this for R12 or you would mistake this for propane, some people, because it's all white. But I am going to paint the red band. That's what I, I usually do. And uh, I just haven't had time to finish that because I needed a tank right away. Um, so this tank has never been used for anything else except for clean, dry, pure refrigerant that doesn't have oil in it or anything. So there's no chance of the inner surface of the steel tank to rust and actually start to make acid because of moisture intrusion uh, and reacting with the refrigerant and rust that comes away as a particulate matter off the inside of the tank and then go into a customer's car. So as long as you only have clean pure dry refrigerant in a steel cylinder it will never rust because there's no moisture there's no reaction you have no oxygen mixed with it you could have no reaction in 100 years it'll still be a crisp clean tank on the inside on the other hand if you have a recycling cylinder and you're trying to clean up and recycle and you're using the same cylinder that you hooked up to a hundred other cars every kind of oil residue is inside that recovery cylinder because not all machines work perfectly and especially if you're not using machine and you're using like one of the little small recovery only like you see i do in my videos that tank is never to be used for clean refrigerant it is designated a dirty tank forever and so all the particulate matter from burned out compressors will be there different kind of oils, acids, everything like that will be in that recycling recovery cylinder. I never use it for anything else. It, the refrigerant gets recycled separately, going through a recycling machine, and only after it's proven by the refrigerant gas analyzer that it's 100% pure refrigerant, that it has 0% air in it, and that it is dry with the moisture indicator, proves that it's dry, then it gets transferred into a clean brand new cylinder to only be used for that one gas for that one purpose. So I hope that answered your question on how my process of, oh, and the other question was, what do you do with recovery cylinders if you don't have a recovery tank or a recovery machine? You can go to your local, at least here in the United States, you could go to, and depends on what state and what program you have, you can go to your local um, refrigeration commercial warehouse and they have tank exchange programs. Uh, some of them will recover the refrigerant out of your cylinder to go into a very large, say 2,000 or 700 pound tank that gets sent off on a truck uh, might go to a freight car and then shipped off to another state to get recycled or some tank some companies do a, a tank exchange you bring them in your dirty refrigerant in a tank and they hand you a new cylinder a straight across exchange uh, sometimes for free sometimes for six dollars or a processing fee uh, another one, some places will charge you maybe a minimum price, 50 cents, 80 cents, a dollar, a pound to get rid of. It all depends on what city, state, and locality you're in when it comes to the refrigerant exchange program that's going on in your state. Uh, MACS has some information about recycling and answers some questions about uh, portable recovery equipment and large recycling R&R and R, &R, &R machines that are used in automotive shop. Uh, I have posted in the past about MACS in correlation partnership with Robin Air has put on some free one hour long webinars all about getting your 608 uh, refrigerant certification test. So I hope this answered that question and anybody else who has it. See you guys later.